On this edition of Life on the Edge, we're at the Big Dipper hanging out with the Fairbanks Ice Dogs, and they're about to help me get suited up so I can take a shot at being goalie. Life on the Edge with Ashley Barker. Places to go, people to meet, and things to do in interior Alaska. Brought to you by Santa Claus House in North Pole. Look around the rink at any given night at the Big Dipper. There's 2,000 people, sponsorships, all the boards are full at the rink, the banners, people wearing the jerseys. It's just turned into a real complete pride of the community of Fairbanks and a real great event on the weekends and some of our you know cold winter nights. They have a great environment with uh, the fans and the support around the community, so I thought it'd be a good place to play. It's got a reputation for sending guys to you know Division One colleges on scholarships, and ultimately that's uh, our my goal as a player to be here. Bottom line is to play the game. They love to get a scholarship to, to go to Division One college and get their education paid for. And that's why they're here. I'm Joseph Philippi. I've been with the Ice Dogs for three years, and I'm from Shoreview, Minnesota. You gotta love the game. Hockey is a lifestyle, especially uh, at the level that my, myself and my teammates play at. I didn't know much about Alaska before I got up here. Um, definitely had a huge learning experience once I got here. The sunlight was definitely a big surprise. You know, not being sun out for most of the day is, you know, something you definitely have to get used to. Hi, I'm Jared Linnell. I'm from North Pole, and this is my first year with the Ice Dogs. My first home game was unbelievable. I actually played 15 games with the Ice Dogs last year. I was practicing with them, and um, my first home game I actually got a goal. And it was just unbelievable, like the environment with all the fans, being a hometown guy, and it was just incredible. I'm from Minnesota, like I said. I mean, I moved all the way up to uh, Fairbanks, Alaska, just to play hockey and try to chase a dream. You can grab a pair of tennis shoes and a basketball and shoot a three-pointer. You can grab a football and, a, and you can throw a football down the field. You can grab a bat and a ball and a glove pretty easy. I mean, hockey, you're playing a game that plays at 20, 25 miles an hour on a two pieces of steel 10 to 12 inches long and 16th of an inch wide. I mean, when you think about the dynamics of the game of what guys are doing really on two little tiny pieces of steel on their body, the agility, the athleticism, the endurance, you know what, there's no better athletes than hockey players. like professionals when they're not getting paid a dime and I think that's what's a special part of it. We had a group of guys go to Tannin all the seventh and eighth graders had a pep fest about being drug free so we had I think it was around eight guys went and made an appearance in that we all talked about it. The most important thing for me is just being an accountable person. I, I'm not sure our society breeds as much accountability that needs to happen. Being on time, being a teammate, being respectful, being a part of a common goal, etc. In the game of hockey, to me, there's there's no better sport to create those those foundations for a youth to build upon to be a great contributing member to the to the community that they're going to reside in. A bunch of guys come out here and skate with the younger kids. He was a kid that started out, and his mom was begging him to go out on the ice just for a little bit, you know. And he was stubborn and he was kind of crying. I don't know if he's intimidated or what. But uh, it kind of reminded me I was myself because when I first started playing hockey, I didn't like it either. So I'm like, hey, buddy, you know, just just give it a shot. And if you don't like it, uh, you can get off. And so he kind of, okay, shook his head, you know, wiped the tears away. Um, he comes out on the ice and uh, I give him a bucket. And I said, all right, buddy, you know, push this around, get used to it. And as the week kind of progressed, I took the bucket and pushed it away from him a little bit and he'd skate up to the bucket. And then eventually it worked his way up from not using the bucket and he became one of the fastest kids in the group. What is an ice dog hockey player? A lot of people think they're still a pro, think the Gold King days, etc. They're not. They're they're a kid, you know, basically 17 to 20 years old, trying to uh, you know get a college education by playing the game they love. They're not getting paid. It is why our stands continue to be more and more packed and the buildings full. Is I think people have a real appreciation, and admiration for that for a kid willing to move 3,000 miles, 4,000 miles from home 
come here to chase the dream, all about getting an education and be a contributing member to, you know, whether it's this community or some other community in the country and go through Fairbanks to, to have some type of uh, impression on them. I, I think it speaks volumes of what Fairbanks is all about. We had a lot of fun thanks to the Fairbanks Ice Dogs. If you'd like to find out more information about them, check them out online or visit the link just below this video player. And that's Life on the Edge. Life on the Edge has been brought to you by Santa Claus House in North Pole.